A big announcement in the federal government's push to lower prescription drug costs for people on Medicare. Today, the Biden administration unveiling the first 10 prescription drugs that will be subject to price negotiations. And this is a list of the drugs that are included, including a well-known blood thinner, Eliquis, insulin products, and diabetes drugs. How much will this help, and could it have a ripple effect across the pharmaceutical industry? We're joined now by the communications director for the White House, Ben LaBolt. Ben, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me on. Yes, the administration is starting with these 10 drugs right now, but the plan is to go after more lower prices in the future. How much lower could the prices of these initial drugs go? Uh, well, I think significantly. Uh, to take a step back, there's been a decades-long conversation in Washington about giving Medicare the power to negotiate down the cost of prescription drugs because Patients in the United States are paying two, three, four times for many of these prescription drugs um, what patients overseas are paying. And, and the Veterans Affairs Administration has had the ability to negotiate down the cost of drugs for years. Now, the Washington Post is reporting today about the groups fighting against your efforts. Six drug makers, the Chamber of Commerce and Pharmaceutical Industries main trade group, they have all filed lawsuits to block this price negotiating power. How confident are you and the administration is that the price negotiations will remain intact. Are you concerned? Um, no, look, look, we're confident uh, in the law. We're confident in our legal strategy. This is something that 80% of Americans support, giving Medicare the power to negotiate the cost of prescription drugs. It's something that the VA has had the power to do uh, for years and done so effectively to save veterans um, on their prescription drugs. And, and the president isn't just stopping with this um, provision. Um, there's lots of provisions in the legislation to bring down health care costs and prescription drug costs. For example, um, he, uh, through this legislation, capped the cost of insulin at $35 a month when many patients were paying $400 a month, for example. So, um, you know, it, it's telling that the industry wants to protect their profit margins. Is it possible that the drug companies could raise prices of these drugs on other people who have private insurance to make up the loss in revenue? Um, well, we, we don't think that will be the impact. That's certainly not the impact of uh, what the what happened with giving the VA the ability to negotiate down the cost of prescription drugs. And these same companies are, are charging way less for these same drugs. Um, in, in countries around the world. So we think it's time for fairness for American patients, uh, for them to have the peace of mind, uh, to know that they're not going to go bankrupt if they get uh, diagnosed with a condition or have to choose between uh, meals and, and medicine. Um, and, and hopefully the companies will, will step up in the long run here and, and understand uh, what's important. Well, hoping isn't really having power to prevent them. Do you have a policy already in place to prevent this from happening if they so choose to go that route? Uh, well, there's all sorts of policies in, in this legislation that are saving um, seniors and patients across the board uh, money. For example, they're saving $800 a year uh, on, uh, on their health care premiums. Uh, they're saving on this set uh, of prescription drugs. We'll know the rate at which they'll come down, but the estimate so far is that uh, each of the seniors, one of the 9 million seniors on one of these drugs, will be saving um, $6,500 uh, a year. Uh, taxpayers will be saving $160 billion. So we already know the impact of, of this legislation. Just to clarify, there is no policy in place that would prevent them from raising prices somewhere else in the private sector if they chose. Uh, well, again, uh, what uh, this legislation does um, is it is empowering the government to negotiate on the cost of prescription drugs, which we've we've done uh, for uh, for veterans. Uh, right. No, for you years. said that it's just uh, for the private holders, like people at a company where they're working for their own private insurance. That doesn't cover them. That wouldn't protect them if the company. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. You've asked that several times. We'll just have to we'll have to get back to yeah. you on on that question. I can speak to the broader legislation. Well, I think we're done here. Really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for joining us. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye.